Are you considering taking collagen but are unsure about how much you should be taking or which kind? This video is for you. Hi, my name is Maya Valenti with Naked Nutrition. I'm a private chef and nutrition coach here to answer all of your biggest health and wellness questions. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about one of the most popular supplements out there, collagen. You've probably seen it in every type of form, powders, gummies, tablets, and even drinks. And maybe you're even already taking it. But there are so many options out there. A lot of people wonder, how much collagen should I actually be taking? And is it even worth it? Okay, let's break it down. First, what is collagen and why does it matter? Collagen is the most abundant protein in the human body. It gives structure to your skin, your muscles, tendons, and ligaments. And it's made up of three amino acids, glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline. And that's going to form a super strong triple helix structure. But here's the catch. Your body's natural collagen production, it starts to decline in your 20s and 30s, and that decline really speeds up with age. This can lead to things like fine lines, wrinkles, and even achy joints. So even though collagen is naturally made in your body, taking a supplement can help keep things strong, hydrated, and supported both inside and out. Okay, so let's talk about the different types because not all collagen is the same. There are nearly 30 types of collagen, but the most important ones are gonna be type one for skin, tendons, and bones, type two, for joints and cartilage and type three. And this is gonna be for your muscles, arteries, and organs. What does that all mean for you? Okay, so if your goal is gonna be smoother skin, fewer wrinkles, you'll want a supplement that's higher in type one. Usually this kind of collagen is found in marine collagen or bovine collagen. If your goal is joint pain relief, look for type two, which is more commonly found in chicken or marine sources. Most supplements are blends, so check the label if you're aiming for something specific. So how much collagen should you be taking? While there's no official one-size-fits-all dosage, here's what research supports. For skin and hair, as little as 2.5 grams per day can make a difference, and up to 15 grams daily has shown benefits, but more isn't always better. For joints and bones, start around 2.5 to 5 grams per day, especially effective for postmenopausal women or those with bone density concerns. And for muscle recovery, aim for 15 to 20 grams within an hour of working out. Just like with other proteins, timing is going to matter here. And remember, collagen is a protein. So while it's generally safe, even at higher dosages, too much can cause bloating gas or an upset stomach. All right, let's talk about timing. When is the best time to take it? That depends on your goal. For skin, it's best to take it in the morning on an empty stomach for best absorption. Some even use it for sleep as early studies have shown that it can help sleep quality and you're gonna wanna take that right before bed. And for workouts, well, take it before or after exercise to support muscle recovery. A few things that affect how well collagen is gonna work for you. Number one, it's gonna be age. Unfortunately, natural collagen levels drop with age, especially during menopause. Number two, diet. You need enough protein overall and key nutrients like vitamin C, zinc, and copper to support your collagen absorption. And number three is gonna be lifestyle. Smoking, alcohol, junk food, and sun damage can really speed up that collagen loss. So if you want to boost results, pair your collagen with a balanced diet and healthy habits. Can you take too much collagen? While there is no official upper limit, Going over 25 grams may cause digestive discomfort or put extra stress on your kidneys, especially if your overall protein intake is already high. If you experience bloating, gas, or other symptoms, scale back that dosage and see how you feel. The most important thing is gonna be choosing the right collagen supplement. Here's what to look out for. Number one, hydrolyzed collagen or collagen peptides. These are broken down for better absorption. Marine versus bovine. Marine tends to have more type one and type two, while bovine has more type one and type three. Also, make sure that it's third-party tested. Always choose a brand that's transparent about testing 
and ingredients. That's why we always recommend checking out Naked Collagen because it's clean, it's effective, and it's third-party tested. So you know exactly what you're getting. So what's the bottom line? Collagen can support everything from smoother skin to strong joints, but dose and type do matter. Stick to somewhere between 2.5 to 15 grams daily, taking it consistently, and make sure that you're supporting it with a healthy diet. And if you found this helpful, go ahead and give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and drop your questions in the comments below. And if you're looking for a high quality, clean collagen supplement, check out Naked Collagen at nakednutrition.com, where we believe in nutrition with nothing to hide.